Ian Paramus. What's up, Jimmy? Uh, go know, ahead, Jimmy. What's Goodell up? Goodell gets gets credit for growing the league and everything. He to did. Me, I think yeah. Anybody could have done that job. It, it's really not hard to sell football. If if anything, he has diluted the league by having these Thursday night games, by stretching things out. And I have never met a CEO of a company with such tone deaf PR in my life. I well, mean, maybe the kid from I, Uber, I, I, I disagree. Kid from Uber, I disagree. Not Listen, I, and Goodell and I don't get along, but I disagree with some of the premise that he didn't do grow the league. He's grown the league well in that he has been very good at protecting the shield. He was very good at. Uh, at taking on the player association, he's been very good at dealing with the older players and keeping their costs down. He's been very, he settled a suit that they thought was going to cost them billions. He settled it for under a million a billion dollars. He uh, you know the judgment was far less than they thought it was going to be. I mean it went to the courts, but the point is uh, it went there in such a way that it really they didn't get hurt half as badly as they thought they were. Um, he was a very good negotiator with the TV networks. He's He's grown the the product a lot. He's grown the revenues a lot. Now, anybody could have grown them, but he's grown them a lot. That's true. Now, your point about him being tone deaf in PR, you're, he's the worst PR commissioner I've ever seen. He has no touch for handling a crisis. He makes every crisis worse. He does not come off well. He's not likable. And... And, ter- and and really, he's not sophisticated in how he handled these things. He he's like a bull in a china shop. He wants to fight everything. He everything with him is full bore ahead with the NFL. You're not. We're better than you. We we rule. We don't listen to anybody. It's our way or the highway. And that's been his take on everything. And frankly, it's cost the league. He has not been in any way deft or had the had the really smooth touch. And his you know predecessor. Uh, not direct one, the one before that. Pete Rozelle was the master. He was absolutely the master of making you think you got what you wanted and he got what he wanted all along. I mean, he was great at having somebody run interference for his ideas and making the other owners think like it was their ideas when really it was all his idea. He was... He was great at putting the right owners together to get the vote he wanted, where he knew what guy could finesse what guy, what guy could block what guy, what guy wouldn't get along with what guy. He was a master at that. And that's what the commissioner has to do if he wants to be successful. See, if you're a smart commissioner, this never happens. Now, did he run into his rogue? Yeah, he did in Al Davis. There's no question. Now, Al Davis's problems were with Gene Klein more than they were with uh, Pete, and Pete... Uh, was very close to Klein because the Klein, Modell, Roselle, Triumvirate ran the league for a very long time. There were guys who had influence, like Wellington Marrow, who clearly did, but that threesome, they ran TV, they upgraded TV, they understood what to do from that standpoint, they understood how to sell packages and break down TV. They did a, they were visionaries. Roselle, Modell, and and Klein were the forces, and they did an incredible job in that regard. They grew.